Crypto is everywhere, headlines, charts, and that one friend who won't stop talking about Bitcoin. You're curious, ready to try it out, but first, you need a place to buy and sell. That's where crypto exchanges come in, the digital marketplaces for trading assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. But, not all exchanges are the same. There are two main types, centralized exchanges, CEXs, and decentralized exchanges, DXs. On the surface, both let you trade crypto, but underneath they're worlds apart. Think of a CCEX, like a bank, run by a company. A DEX? It's code on the internet, no CCEO, no office. This choice shapes your entire crypto experience, from fees to control to security. CEXs offer convenience and a familiar feel. DXs give you control and privacy, but with more responsibility. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, it's about what matters most to you. In this video, we'll break down how CEXs and DEXs work, compare their strengths and weaknesses and help you decide where to start. By the end, you'll know exactly what each exchange offers and which one fits your crypto journey. Ready? Let's dive in. Scene Transition Let's start with centralized exchanges. Think Coinbase, Binance, Kraken. A CEX is run by a company. You sign up, verify your identity, and deposit money from your bank. The exchange holds your crypto in wallets they control, not you. The experience is smooth polished apps, easy, buy, sell, buttons, and customer support if you get stuck. Trading is fast and cheap because it happens off the blockchain inside the company's private database. But remember, when you buy Bitcoin on a CEX, you don't actually hold it. The exchange does, and your account balance is just an IOU. This makes things easy and familiar, but you're trusting the company with your assets. If you forget your password, there's help. If you want to trade, just click a button. CEXs are the big secure vaults of the crypto world. Fast, user-friendly, and built for millions, but that convenience comes with trade-offs. Scene Transition Now, let's flip the script. Decentralized exchanges, or DEX, no company, no CEO, no headquarters, just code running on a blockchain like Ethereum. You connect directly from your own crypto wallet, no account, no ID, no middleman. With a DEX, you always control your funds. Your crypto stays in your wallet until you trade. Most DEX use automated market makers, AMMs, and liquidity pools, giant pools of tokens provided by users. You trade with the pool, not another person. Prices are set by math, not a company. There's no customer support. Lose your wallet's secret phrase and your funds are gone. DEX are open to anyone, anywhere, with total privacy and control. The catch? The interface can be tricky and you're responsible for your own security. For many that's the point. True decentralization, true ownership. If you want freedom and privacy, DEXs deliver but you need to know what you're doing. Scene transition. Here's how the tech works. On a CEX, trades use an order book, your buy and sell orders are matched instantly, off the blockchain for speed and low fees. The blockchain only comes in when you deposit or withdraw crypto. CEXs can offer advanced trading features and high-frequency trades because everything happens on their servers. DEX on the other hand, run entirely on-chain using smart contracts. Instead of order books they use liquidity pools. You swap tokens directly with the pool, and prices adjust automatically. Every DEX trade is a blockchain transaction, transparent, but slower and with network fees. Liquidity providers earn a cut of every trade, but users pay gas fees for each swap. CEX are fast and cheap, DEX are open and transparent, but can be slower and pricier. Scene Transition 10 Lines Let's compare. CEXs Pros, super easy to use, fast trades, low fees, customer support, and advanced features for pros. Cons, you don't control your funds, if the exchange is hacked or collapses, your assets are at risk, plus, you give up privacy and must trust the company. Dex is Pros, total, control, privacy, and access to a huge range of tokens. No KYC, no middleman, no censorship. Cons, steep learning curve, no customer support, and you're responsible for your own security. Gas fees can be high, and smart contract bugs are a risk. With a CEX, you trade convenience for control. With a DEX, you trade responsibility for freedom. The right choice depends on what you value most. 
If you want easy and familiar go CEX, if you want privacy and control go DEX, many use both, CEX for on-ramps, DEX for true ownership, know the trade-offs before you jump in. Scene Transition Security is everything in crypto. On a CEX, you trust the company's security, big teams, insurance, and cold storage, but they're huge targets for hackers, and if breached, everyone's funds are at risk. On a DEX, you're your own bank, your crypto stays in your wallet, protected by your private key or seed phrase. No central honeypot for hackers, but now the risk is on you. Lose your seed phrase, fall for a scam, or interact with a buggy smart contract, and your funds are gone. DEX shift the risk, from the company, to the individual, and the code. Top DEX are audited, but no code is perfect. So do you trust a company, or yourself and the technology? That's the core security question in crypto. Choose wisely, and always, protect, your keys. Scene Transition So, which should you choose? If you're new, start with a CEX. It's easy, safe, and familiar. Perfect for beginners. Want to buy and hold Bitcoin or Ethereum? A reputable CEX is your on-ramp. If you value privacy, control, and access to new tokens, and you're comfortable managing your own wallet, try a DEX. Many experienced users use both CEX for getting money in and out, DEX for true ownership and exploring new assets. The key is understanding the trade-offs. CEX offer ease, DEX offer control. Start where you're comfortable, but keep learning. The more you know, the better you'll navigate the crypto world, your journey, your choice. End.